Hello, I'm George Schatz, Professor of Chemistry at Northwestern University and also Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Physical Chemistry. Today I'm going to tell you about projects done in my research group in which we have used computational and theoretical methods to describe the properties of gel-like materials that are produced when DNA links nanoparticles, polymers, or molecules together. These gels are a new class of materials that has emerged in the last 15 years as a result of advances in synthetic methods. The materials have quickly demonstrated their usefulness in medical diagnostics, and there is also interest in using functionalized DNA gold nanoparticles for therapeutic applications, such as for siRNA delivery. The properties of these materials have been of great interest in theoretical modeling. When the first dna link gold nanoparticle aggregates were synthesized by Merkin and co-workers in the mid-1990s, it was quickly discovered that the thermal melting transitions in these materials are much sharper than in the corresponding transitions for the same DNAs in solution. A number of theoretical models have been proposed to explain this thermal melting behavior. Tatiana Pritkova, a postdoc in my group, will describe her recent theory and molecular dynamics calculations, which clearly show that cooperative melting of multiple DNAs that link pairs of nanoparticles or molecules can explain the sharp melting. The structural properties of the DNA functionalized nanoparticles and DNA linked nanoparticles are also surprising. The maximum density of single-stranded DNA that can be attached to gold nanoparticles using thiolinkers is amazingly high compared to other DNA applications, and it has been found to depend on nanoparticle diameter being the largest for the smallest diameter nanoparticles. In addition, the length of DNA, either that is attached to one gold nanoparticle or which through hybridization chemistry links two particles together, is much shorter than in conventional Watson-Crick DNA. One son Lee in my group will now describe his molecular dynamics studies of these properties. I'm Won Sun Lee, a postdoctoral researcher in the Schatz group at Northwestern University. I'm going to tell you about our molecular dynamics simulations of DNA functionalized gold nanoparticles structures. The simplest structures that have been studied experimentally are two nanometer gold particles that have a maximum of four to five single-stranded DNAs per nanoparticle. In this case, fully atomistic simulations have been done with explicit solvent, providing a quantitative estimate of DNA length. According to our simulations, the calculated single-stranded DNA length corresponded to 2.2 angstrom per base, which is considerably shorter than Watson Creek DNA. This value compares favorably with estimates from electroporting mobility measurements. Calculating the length of double-stranded DNA between gold particles is a serious challenge, but we have used molecular dynamics calculations to study well. The double-stranded DNA is still B-form, but bent. An intentionally inserted adenine at the boundary of the coded and non-coded regions makes this bent structure relatively stable. One surprising structural property of the DNA functionalized gold nanoparticle is the maximum density of single strand attached to gold nanoparticle is higher for particles with a smaller radius of curvature than for larger radius of curvature. This density corresponds to a mean separation between DNAs of 27 angstrom for 10 nanometer diameter nanoparticles, increasing to 39 angstrom for 200 nanometer nanoparticles. The latter number is the same as one finds for flat gold surfaces. In our simulation, the distance between single-strand DNA is initially taken to be 27 angstrom, but it increases to 37 angstrom upon equilibration. This occurs because counter-ion mediated osmotic effects cause the DNAs to move apart and spray outward. Hi, uh, my name is Tatiana Prutkova. I'm a postdoctoral fellow, fellow in the Schatz group. I will tell you today about a project related to the melting properties of small molecule DNA hybrids, SMDH. The figure shows the structure of the SMDH complex. In this structure, two small organic molecules, rather than nanoparticles, are linked in, by DNA. 
In this case, hybridization produces a dimer of the two molecules rather than an extended aggregate. Experiments in the Nguyen group at Northwestern have demonstrated sharp melting for these structures, as you can see on the figure. That is very similar to what is found for DNA-linked gold nanoparticles. To interpret these re uh, results, we have considered both an analytical model and molecular dynamics simulations. The analytical model examined the entropy change associated with melting the first, second or third DNA in the dimer. A key factor is that after one DNA melts, the two remaining duplex strands still hold the dimer structure intact. And this makes the effective concentration of the single-stranded DNAs larger than it would if these single-stranded DNAs had been free. This leads to a reduction in melting entropy for the first and second DNA melting events. But the third DNA melting releases this entropy, resulting in a cooperative effect. Counter ion release also sharpens the melting transition. The molecular dynamic studies of DNA melting for this dimer structure are based on a coarse grained model of DNA that is visualized in the molecular dynamics movie. The resulting melting curves are presented in the next figure. In calculating melting curves, the sharpening of the melting behavior in going from free DNA to the SMDH dimer is apparent. We have used a quasi-harmonic analysis to calculate the entropy changes associated with melting of the first, second and third DNAs, and the results are consistent with the analytical model described earlier.